Hey guys, welcome to the UF Disciple channel. Today we have another episode of my Will It Play series. We're going to see how well the Intel HD 530 can play Borderlands 2. So let's get started. Before we go over the benchmark results, let's go over the specifications of my system first. For the processor, I have an Intel Core i7-6700K overclocked 4.4 GHz with 32 GB of DDR4 2133 MHz RAM with the Intel HD 530 graphics unit. And for the benchmarks with Borderlands 2, I ran the game at a 1920 x 1080p resolution with anisotropic filtering off and modified the graphics settings thusly. For the first benchmark, I had bullet decals on high, foliage distance on far, texture detail on high, game detail on high, ambient occlusion turned on, depth of field turned on, FXAA turned on, view distance on ultra high, and texture fade turned on. For the second benchmark, I had bullet decals on normal, foliage distance on near, texture detail on medium, game detail on medium, changed view distance to medium, and left ambient occlusion, depth of field, FXAA, and texture fade all on. For the third and final benchmark, I turned bullet decals off, kept foliage distance at near, texture detail on low, game detail on low, I changed the view distance to low, and turned ambient occlusion, depth of field, FXAA, and texture fade all off. And as you can see, based on the graph, the Intel HD 530 only averaged above 30 FPS with all of the graphic settings turned to their lowest. However, even with everything turned up, the 22 average FPS wasn't actually all that unplayable, since the minimums didn't tip too hard. So will the Intel HD 530 play Borderlands 2? Yes. Yes, it will. You can turn the settings down to make it an average nice FPS in the game, or you can keep them up a little higher with a little bit of stuttering, but it won't be too terrible. So that's it for this episode of Will It Play. Subscribe if you want to stay up to date on future episodes of Will It Play, as well as other tech-related videos that I produce. Like this video if you found it helpful. Dislike it if it was more disappointing than Ryan Reynolds' Green Lantern movie. And please leave a comment down below in the comment section letting me know what other integrated graphic systems you want me to test or what other video games that you want me to test with the integrated graphic systems that I currently have. Also, if you're interested in watching more of my videos, you can click the card in the top right hand corner or watch my Skylake build project where I put together my Intel i7 Core 6700K and all of the other components. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.